We present for your entertainment and edification a short, silent film dating back to the birth of German cinema. Previously unknown and only recently discovered, it is shown exclusively here at Molochs tonight. It is a cautionary tale of unrequited love and a deal with the devil. We give you Liebe, Toad, Teufel. introduction I had bad breath so I'm going to take some tic tacs while we're waiting for these fine gentlemen to get ready. I have four tic tacs because I have extraordinarily bad breath. I take them a bit different than most people. I'm going to take one and go into my left ear duct. Mint always burns a bit, but the orange ones are hard to find. There we go. We got three Tic Tacs left. 
be a good and slippery. <clears throat> I'm going to go here into my right tear duct. This one's always a little more difficult. Hi. There we go. Ah, there it goes. That was easy. It's usually harder. <sighs> oh. The next one. Ah, mint's good for opening up your sinuses. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one I'm going to just put in my mouth because I'm not that weird. <laughs> here we go. Now it gets fun. Come out of here. <laughs> Chris, lean back. I lost the one out of my mouth. <laughs> okay, come out of my nose. <laughs> ah, no, I heard. That was the one that was in my mouth. There we go, four Tic Tacs. Anyone? Because <laughs> I can't say that you're going to need this, but you might be well advised. Hold this plastic over you if you were within the splash zone here. <laughs> you probably don't need it. <laughs> oh, move up, move up. Whatever, move up. you know, it just let it fall. Next, we have a charming tale of domestic abuse, always the best kind of tales, and a glimpse at the long history of the war between the sexes. We are proud to give you the late old lady and the devil, as performed by Punch and Judy, with the aid of several devils. Please pay careful attention to the lyrics and the music as they are most enlightening. <laughs>
Are you not amused? <laughs> Fine, I think all the married guys feel a certain affinity. I know I do. And mother-in-laws too. Finally, for our and possibly your last performance, the story of a boy and his shadow sleep rocking with sleepwalking through a world of weirdness and wonder. Ladies and gentlemen, the somnambulist. Please remain seated until the house lights are fully on. You can kick that plastic away. You guys, you don't need it anymore. They might need it. You never know. <laughs> from his sleeping self and fly out of his window. Johnny would go on great adventures, exploring strange places and discovering fantastic things. He could always find his way back by following a silver thread leading back to his sleeping self. One night, Johnny wandered very far and found his thread had broken. Johnny wandered alone and afraid. He was very frightened. As Johnny wandered lost and alone, a shadow appeared before him. Frightened, Johnny fled, but the shadow cut him off at every turn. The shadow told Johnny that he wanted to help. Johnny, not knowing what else to do, followed. The shadow led Johnny to a creepy old house and said he could find help there. Johnny thanked the shadow and approached the house. Johnny slowly crept up the steps and listened at the door. He heard scuttling from inside but nothing more. Johnny opened the door. Thank <laughs> you. 